All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back from that break to the final match of tonight. This is still the new, I messed that up, the NECC. We're just going to go with the letters. Oh, Lordy. I've, I made a great first impression just twice in a row. I'm not Grant. I swear to God, our <laughs> producer, two weeks in a row, is messing with the names. Believe it or not, I'm Leechy. I'm just going to hope that we get the names changed sooner or later. And the person called staged right now is, in fact, I think it switched now. It is Novanta. Hello, Novanta. Welcome back for a week two of the NECC. Yeah, of course, there, Leechy, a.k.a. Grant. I'm always glad to be part <laughs> of the festivities, but this last match is going to be a banger. Fresno State Blue, North Kentucky University. I don't know about you, Leechy, but this one here might be the best match to end tonight's action on. Interesting. In, okay, so let's talk about that for a second, because I know if you stand by your words, which mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with, and I, I admire the conviction, I kind of think the other way. I think right now, for me, the numbers are pointing fully towards Northern Kentucky University, and let me tell you why. All right, so first of all, Kentucky had... Uh, twice the amount of preseason games that Fresno State Blue did, and they won five out of six of them. Uh, really, really good preseason performance. Fresno State Blue only had three games, and they only won one of those three. Now, coming into this week, uh, their week one results, we actually saw on stream, you and I, Novanta, casted this one. Absolutely. Uh, Fresno State Blue lost to Lincoln Land 0-3, to three, and it was a pretty drastic loss but it is what it is northern kentucky university lost to alabama zero to three however both northern kentucky and alabama are crl teams 
Lincoln Land is very good, but they're not a CRL team. Those are the numbers that have me convinced that this is going to be a relatively comfortable Northern Kentucky University. Convince me otherwise, go. I, I wasn't going to. I said, hey, it's going to be a good matchup. Oh. You said, I disagree. And I said, what? Uh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the, the, these two teams have something to prove. This scoreline has relied their skill. And yes, we were there for Lincoln Land last week. They came out here and they dominated. Doesn't mean these teams can't hang. And I got to say this, though. We look at North Carolina. Kentucky University. They look pretty strong on paper, but Fresno State does have something to prove. The rotations have been crisp, even though they had some defensive lapses. I think this might be a little bit more of a battle there, Leachie. I That's fair. Okay. And I see people in chat booing me, so that's fine. <laughs> Listen, the support for the school, we, we always love it. That's fair. I have All I have to go off of are the numbers and what I have seen on stream. So give me a break. We're getting used to it. Um, I believe for Fresno State, we have, uh, let's look this up real quick. We've got Fish Hyenia. Manny. Yes, thank you. Fish Manny and Hyenia making uh, their appearances. I think Fish, was Fish back here? This I, th I, think, I think Fish was playing at the time. Uh, Kentucky, Northern Kentucky University, are choosing to field Pig, Rickles, and Rule. Um, I don't think we have specific stats on either one of those, but at the very least, a Fresno State blue roster that you and I are used to seeing. Yeah, you, you, despite the fact we may have seen rosters before, it's still pretty e early in the season. Teams are always trying to figure out which team rotation is good for their chemistry. So I'm not saying don't take too much stock in lineups, but I will say it's okay for these teams to experiment to see which ones will be their playoff roster if everything goes right for them this season. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to get some Rocket League underway. I can't wait, honestly, to be proven wrong um, because that just makes for a more entertaining show. Agreed. Um, and it, especially if it's me, because I don't know, it, there's just something something entertaining about lychee with egg on his face so um <laughs> let's we'll, we'll get the well hopefully we'll get the predictions going in chat relatively soon um if they haven't been uh i don't think they've been tossed up yet but we will wait on that we're waiting on these players to join novanta how have you been tonight and uh did you manage to catch any of the necc action earlier in the evening up till now I have, and I've been continuously impressed about the quality top to bottom. I know there's different tiers and rankings, but it kind of goes out the window because all these teams and all these universities are playing with their heart and souls out. You can tell not only hours have been done in scrims, but definitely on the training pitch. This is something that even if you're not really a fan of collegiate car ball, as we like to call it, it's good to see how different schools approach the beautiful game of car soccer. And I, for one, dig it every Tuesday night. I'm there. And this for me is a little bit of a pleasure hanging with you, commenting the last match tonight best of five series and i can't wait for it oh thanks babe you're so you're so nice to me this is why i love working with you because you're just an absolute <laughs> absolute doll i i want to i want to touch on that for a second i i want to ask your thoughts on this novanta because yeah. i know that you are a you are a soccer enthusiast and i am as well but the more that the more experience that we gain commentating about or commentating a uh, rocket league the more I start to see similarities in hockey, and uh, I, I think Sunless Khan wound up putting out a video about this a, a long while back about yeah. how he was seeing more similarities uh, when it comes to uh, Rocket League and hockey versus Rocket League and soccer. Yes, obviously, there's a ball and a goal, which are two things that exist in soccer. But in hockey, you've got the walls to bounce the ball off of, and it's a way, you know, way smaller team size. You've got demos. You've got, you know, running around, like running off, bouncing off of the walls in a way which, there, you know, there's no out of bounds in Rocket League, which honestly, that would be a very interesting concept to enable. But I don't know. For me, I'm starting to lean towards comparing it more to hockey than than soccer i don't know if this is even a topic worth talking about if you want to lend your two cents to it or not five minutes in the clock here in game one but i gotta be honest with you lychee rocket league is a complex sport and the reason why i like it because it's a combination of many sports there's the obvious soccer component there's a hockey component there is a defense and strategy boxing component and just like that opening yourself up to an easy score fish gets the cleanup they're up one nothing uh only nine seconds elapsed in game one Fish wide open, not going to miss that one. Fish, Hyania, and Manny, lest you forget, representing Fresno State University Blue on the blue side. <clears throat> Going up against Rule, Rickless, and Pig in orange. 
for Northern Kentucky University. Barely 20 seconds gone, and FSU have uh, a nice start. Let's see how long they're able to hold on to this one. It should be noted that, uh, well, I, we were told that there was going to be a drastic ping advantage, but I'm looking at the scoreboard, and Northern Kentucky are actually looking pretty healthy in terms of their connections, so I feel like that may not quite, oh, that may not be too big of a, uh, an excuse to be using their Hyenea one up. That was a really good attempt here from Manny coming across the ball in that the murk of all cars, but couldn't quite see it, and Hyenea is there to clean it up. Two-goal lead now for FSU Blue. We talked about the sports that, the, that Rocket League reminds us of. The last sport, to my point, was basketball. Here was a chance for a, a goal that didn't quite go in there, but a teammate being able to do a rebound due to their positioning was all the difference. Fresno State doubles their lead, and not only has a minute elapsed in game one. Rickles, an interesting half flip there to maintain possession. A snapshot there, and Northern Kentucky are back within one. What a solo play here. Yeah, Rickles has a lot of dirt work here, splitting two potential defenders, but they were frozen in place. Top 90. I'm almost sure that Fresno State thought that ball was not going to be on target, but ha, 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 two was the scoreline because the goal went in. <laughs> Rules up high. Off the backboard. Water falling down for Rickles. That one was dangerous, but Fish, I believe it was, did manage to get that clearance. Pig off this back wall. Manny pre-jumping, but getting beaten for it. Pig is up over a second defender. Hyenea chasing it into the corner and Manny oh dangerous up just high off the crossbar pig keeps it dangerous Rickles is coming in for the shot but no realizes that Manny hasn't beaten to the ball 90 seconds gone and we've had a relatively high scoring affair here in game number one yeah, the goals came kind of thick and fast, but a lot of them were more to defensive miscues, which is to be happened after you get ready for your game after training all day and having to wait for everything to be lined up. Oh. I, got, I got a feeling that once these two teams settle in, we're going to have a lot more of a consistent pace of the goal scoring efforts here. Fish on zero boost. His defensive rotation is going to take a little while. Hyenea passing that down off the ceiling over to Manny. Great beat there. This one's up high. Oh, Manny dropping this one down. Can't beat the crossbar, though. In fact, it was the backboard that he couldn't beat. Not even close enough to the ground to call it a crossbar. Rule sending this up high over to Manny. Oh, Pig cuts that one out. Dangerous. Rule. All he needs is the touch. And what a touch it was. Tying it up. It's 2-2. Call it dangerous, deadly or lethal. Manny tried the touch to beat one defender was too much to bear for the second touch and got sent back, returned to sender. Rule ties it up. They were not even halftime yet there, Leechy. I'm such a big fan of those upside down flick shots that uh, every every time I see that happen, I just think, "Moy guys," because I'm I just <laughs> I just picture Jazer like going off in one of his weekly compilations. It's just ridiculous. So. <laughs> <laughs> FYI, that's that's what's typically running through my head during any normal Rocket League match. If the car is upside down, I'm thinking of Jazer. That's about it. That's that's all I can contribute to this situation. FSU trying to contribute a goal to their scoreline. What a demo there, but we just passed half time, and that chance is not taken advantage of. This one's off of the corner wall. Pig has a passing opportunity, but doesn't make contact, probably for the fact that he didn't have any boost. That's always going to make your job a little bit more difficult. Fish up high. Pig can't make this one. Neither can Hyenea. Rule clears it out sideways over to Rickles off that sidewall yet again. And Rickles leaves that alone. Fish will drop it down. Two-minute mark, and it's still 2-2 between these two teams. Both two teams are jockeying for position, and both have two goals to their name, which I guess is a good thing, but I haven't felt like we've seen the third or fourth gear from either one of these squads. And if, when it comes down to it, the one that does pick up their pace, the one that has themselves more with the more faster rotations, might be the one with the edge when it's all said and done. Up high, Pig. Zero boost uses his last touch to great effect, but not great enough because there's nothing to show for it on the scoreboard. Up yet again, Pig looking for the reset, but instead just goes for a relatively non-productive double tap. Rule coming in, trying to pinch it off of Rickles. This one's around. Rule can't beat high knee on that back wall. Pig, oh, can't get the touch. Rickles will go for a follow-up, and Manny sends it wide. Pig rotating through defense, trying to cause some... Uh, chaotic business pig <laughs> gentle back pass over to rickles that's the best way i could think to describe it patent <laughs> pending what, yeah so yeah there. <laughs> yeah nobody steal that that's my idea fish into the corner pioneer oh beats one won't beat rickles in midair manny's up loving the merc choice 
it's a legitimate choice too now that it was given its own hitbox it's it's even taller i believe than the dominus so if somebody is really good at at, at, at positioning themselves for 50s and just being an absolute nuisance getting in their opponent's face i feel like a merc has the merc has been given a new life in the uh, in the competitive meta here in Rocket League. Yeah, I have to agree. It's a little shorter than the old hitbox, but it is taller. So if you're a person that likes to do, you should just use a mid pitch to do more of your aerial attack. Because the Merc is kind of a hidden weapon, but you know how it is. A lot of about this game is about the fashion, and no one really wants to be caught seen in one. But if you get scored on one or dunked on one, you feel extra salty about it. Great pass over to Rickles. That one's in the midfield. Rule trying to keep the momentum. It's towards goal. Pig would have been a devastating touch but he couldn't find it and we have our first overtime of this series i wonder if this is a sign of how competitive this whole series is going to be oh absolutely even though the chat has already picked their favorites these two teams really attacked each other almost complimentary yin and yang style so this uh overtime period has been worth it golden goal situation the first team that scores a goal win the game here and it's anyone's ball game currently pass out mid Pig waiting very patiently, uses his opponent to his advantage. Gets that nice pinch clear. Many off that corner wall. Can't maintain possession. Rickles has that pass off of that back wall. Hyania is 1v1 right now. Turns into a 2v1 because Manny has positioned himself to be there. And just can't find the touch. And now Hyania, the only one back. If Northern Kentucky can put something together quickly enough, they may have been threatening, but... Just weren't really able to gather themselves well. We're coming to the one minute mark of overtime and we have yet to see any team that, that has put in any kind of consistent pressure and proven themselves to be a threat and the instant those words leave my freaking mouth, which I knew was <laughs> gonna happen. Manny puts this one away. FSU Blue take game number one. Yeah, when you're in an overtime situation, there's always a high pressure because the clock is not your friend there, and it becomes a game of concentration. Fresno State Blue had the edge in this one. They're up one game in his best of five series set. Very, very, very well done. FSU Blue, I am enjoying the performance here greatly. That was, I mean... I'll stop short of saying lights out because it wasn't like some some breathtaking amount of Rocket League that was going on, but it was it was real good. I am very surprised. Now, granted, Lincoln Land last week put on a fantastic showing. They are they are clearly a team that's going to go very very far in this competition. Um, sure. And I have to say, brutally made Fresno State look a little bit rough. This game. <laughs> Totally, totally different story. I'm, I'm loving what I'm seeing from this Fresno State Blue roster. I, you know what? You have to give credit to Fresno State Blue because they have the victory and they outscore their opponent 7-5. to five, But North Kentucky is no slouch. It, it wasn't like I felt the dominating uh, performance on either side. North Kentucky may have dropped the first game, but they have a lot of time to make some ground. But if you're Fresno State right now, you must be like high-fiving your partners in the Discord chat, possibly basically telling yourselves, hey, look, we had the tools, we had the team, let's get the wins. And and get the wins they will. And I, I agree with you as well. Yes, it it had to go to overtime um to 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 find a winner here and that winner was FSU Blue. But it I, I don't know. It it was just overall it was a much healthier showing than uh than than I expected from FSU. And yes, I know it's only been one week of competitive play, but I can only go off of what I've seen. So um I, 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 they're, they're, um, I, I don't even know how to say this. They're, they're, um, <laughs> Just jumping my ex dude, my brain is failing today. Oh my <laughs> dear Lord. They're, um, they're doing a great job at, uh, at dashing my expectations and I couldn't be happier about it because that means it's more unpredictable from our end. And hopefully that means for a, a better show for everybody watching. So more of the same, please. Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's one of those things when you have two different squads, you have a game plan you look at because you already have one week of results to your name. So you can go back and watch the VOD of your potential opponents. You may have a game plan. And, and I, I, Mike Tyson always says, um, you know, you, everyone has a plan until someone gets punched in the mouth. And so when you get that kind of uh, situation where your plan goes out the window, it comes down to how good you can adapt. Just waiting on everybody to join this new lobby that we've got going on. Novanta, uh, we're 
seeing this matchup between FSU and Northern Kentucky University, has anything stood out to you from Northern Kentucky University that you are you're feeling of you know making making a note on for later like you feel like is is starting to become a trademark of their play sure you know we have this almost like a serpentine rotation when it comes from north kentucky allowing wrinkles to play a lot of more space up top and in the mid pitch and i think wrinkles may be the key of tying the series up because rule and pig are able to play up so it can have, allow wrinkles to drop back and also play back to give wrinkles a space to be a, a score Scoring threat. So, yeah, I'm looking the way they execute that plan in game two. Can't wait to see it. Manny coming in. Oh, what a shot here. Pinballs off of, it seemed like, 17 different players, and it finds its way in. And the script continues. Early goal being scored. Rule got down and it got a hand on it, a fender on it, a side on it, but it wasn't enough. And Fresno State keeps their scoring ways around. one nothing with only six seconds elapsed. That is what the Merc is good for, my friends. Just absolute brute forcing it in. Doesn't matter how many how many uh, cars you have in front of you. You're going to make it count. Pig, oh, what a fantastic passing play coming out there from Rule. They just didn't quite have that finishing touch. Would have been a highlight for sure. And now FSU looking to send it back down the other way. Hyania coming off of this sidewall. Fish turning. Beats Rule. Looking to beat Pig as well on this wall. And we no, actually won't. Spoke too soon. Gradster here. I think that was, in fact, a substitution here. Gradster now for North Kentucky University. Let's see if this, uh, this change of players here is going to swap around their play style at all. I will say, I, I won't say, you, you know, it, the phrase like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'll stop short of saying that because there really wasn't anything that was bad about Northern Kentucky and, and the way that they were playing. I just feel like maybe the consistency, if like if one thing needed to change, maybe yeah. it was the consistency because they were allowing FSU to get in positions that yeah. they really shouldn't be, especially this one here, Fish scoring with 345 still on the clock. Fish putting himself in, in an opportune position to clean up the mess there. And that goal was pretty much served to him on a silver platter. But to your point before, I had just got done singing the praises of Rickles. And he or she is not even in this game in, in, in total. So, yes, very early in the season, we have the free substitution rule in this conference. But you think about it, any coaches watching now trying to think it was the best tactic uh, at all times. And once you pull out one person, it could be a whole different formation. So I do think North uh, Kentucky is trying to figure out what works for them what's more comfortable for them the question is can they figure it out in time manny looking for the pinch of hyenia but just kind of swings wide now pig has possession for northern kentucky redster rotating back all the doink from hyenia what a way to score those are my favorite goals ever three nothing to fresno state blue yeah, Hyenia uh, pilfered and pickpocketed and made a shot off the bow. 3-0. Looks like Fresno State has found their groove. I'm not sure what Kentucky is have on their mind right now, but it has to be fast or else they'll be on the blunt end of a possible sweep. Oh, don't say that word this early in this series, man. You're going to get roasted alive in the chat. We'll see what oh, happens. I know. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Rule looking for the pass out to a teammate. Does get a good one, and Pig does get contact. It's just Manny was positioned that much. Or, what words? Manny was positioned so well to deal with that incoming threat and just sent it wide. So FSU on their toes on offense as well as defense here. Such a complete team on both sides of the ball is uh, definitely a, a terrifying prospect to come up against, especially if that team took you to overtime in game one and then three goals up in game number two, luckily Northern Kentucky are able to at least claw one back. Klong one back says a lot. Not all goals are created equal, but this shows Northern Kentucky is still in this. Perfect hands and play at goal, which does two things. One, puts North Kentucky on the board, and two, kind of lets Fresno State know you can't be that sluggish on defense or else this may go the other way. Bradster, a great pass over to Pig, just needs to oh, well, does catch it, but takes a takes a sweet time really kind of setting that one up and then loses possession for it fish zero boost leaving that to hyenia to clear oh what a shot from rule brings it back within one 
And once again, Rule is in the scoring situation. Gets the goal credit this time, and Claws within one. Two minutes is an eternity to maintain a lead, but momentum favors Northern Kentucky right now. And now, if you're a Fresno State blue player, Novanta, get in the heads of those players. What is going through your mind? You beat your opponents with a 65-second overtime in Game 1 and then clawed out a three-goal lead in Game 2. And now your opponents have two minutes left to tie things back up. How is that wreaking havoc on your mentality? Oh, I can tell you what's going on right now. When you have a, a lead as emphatic as a 3-0 scoreline and see that evaporate, the first thing you want to do is say, guys, you got to get one back. And when you do that, though, if you're not careful, if your focus drops, you may open the door for the floodgates to open on the other side. So if I'm Fresno State Blue, just keep your heads down, play the game you were playing because it was effective to show up your defense. Off that back wall. Fish in no man's land, but does manage to get a, re a, a decent 50, rather. Ball just kind of bouncing. Rule. Shot attempt. Fish gets in the way. Gradster's up. A little bit too high. Drops this one down. Manny can't get a touch, so Gradster still had possession for the time being, but now has the ball taken away. Great pinch between Fish and Hyania. Easily stopped by Rule. 60 seconds left. Northern Kentucky still looking to find the equalizer. Oh, it could be here. Are you kidding me? What a push from the corner. Are you absolutely ridiculous? I don't even have the words. Rule, stop this. Looking for the equalizer any faster, it would have been a Google search. Three threes a score like we have a tie <laughs> game there, Leechy. Oh my god, what a shot. 55 seconds. This is how you bring a game back. Now, how the dagger will how sharp the dagger will feel if they wind up being taken to overtime and FSU takes it a second time. I don't want to speak too soon. And I already cast or cursed the, the last overtime, so I better keep my mouth shut right now. <laughs> about 30 seconds in chain, so we're all tied up. Is that about to change? No, a great stop from Hyania. Pig into the corner. Does get the touch, keeps the momentum going. Fish sends it all the way back down to the orange half. Northern Kentucky, oh, that ball is bouncing loose, but it is off target, so easily dealt with by Manny. 15 seconds now. Fish over that halfway line. Oh, Pig. Missing that bang, and now Fish has an opportunity to pass it in, but as it popped straight off his nose, a demo here from Gradster. Rule comes in, still dangerous, looking for the pass. Oh, my Lord, it's oh. the Rule. No, stops at that near post. We have the second overtime. So in the first game, I said both teams were operating pretty equally, but we're seeing the difference here is from Northern Kentucky, a much faster squad. That's probably why they brought in Grasser there, because I feel like the whole pace has escalated in this game. This is showing how the fact they came back for 3 old deficit to force an overtime in game two. I just want to say, oh, so close, Grasser. Couldn't quite get the flip on target. Rule is sitting here with seven shots. He has over double the amount of shots of both of his teammates combined which is terrifying. You just feel like maybe the one thing missing for Northern Kentucky is the con the contribution from the other two teammates. If all three teammates are shooting as wildly as Rule is, I feel like NKU has this one in the bag easily, but as it stands, about 50 seconds of overtime have gone right now, and uh, Rule remains the main offensive powerhouse for Northern Kentucky. Something wrong with having a 2-1 formation when it comes to a scoring threat because Rule has covered a lot of ground with this aerial assault or her aerial assault. But yeah, I have to give it to you. When you want to be able to establish a second scoring threat to put your opponents in a confused state, not knowing which would be the one to shoot. And then I'm looking at Pig here. Pig has an opportunity to be that second option, uh, but the choice is his or hers. Sent long. Gradster. Oh, this one's dangerous. Northern Kentucky trying to put something together. A great stop behind Nia. Danger's not over. Fish, ooh, very cautiously backing up there, giving the hold to Manny. A Merc flick. You don't see that too often, but used brilliantly. Ball is still in FSU's half. Hyania. This is taken away by Rule. Always dangerous on the ball. Has proven that time and time again. Shot by Grasser a little bit short. And Pig meets Manny at the point of contact. What a pass, Rule! Who else puts this away? What a shot. Northern Kentucky have their game win. 
So this right here with the technical shot off the wall rule being the person to put the dagger in. And on top of that, Northern Kentucky is clawed back from a 3-0 deficit to even up the series. Now, if you're Fresno State, the odds of you hanging back with the boys and saying we got this in the bag is probably heading out the window because now we have a brand new contest. Eight shots. Eight shots and four saves and three goals from those eight shots. Rule. Chill, dude. <laughs> oh my God! I mean, he had—he uh, was a point shy from 900 points on this time, and I mean, I guess don't change anything that you're doing. But at this point, I like I said, I want Northern Kentucky. I want the two players that are sitting in the back and and supporting. There's nothing wrong with support. A little bit more done on the offense, and yes, you won this game too. But it took a minute and 50 seconds of overtime to get it. It feels a lot better when you're able to put things away in regulation. So shoot. I, 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 easy for me to say. I'm in the caster booth. I don't have the sweaty controller <laughs> in my hands. But shoot a little bit more often. And I feel like you're you're going to find your confidence much quicker. I, you know, I can't knock Northern Kentucky for this. You dropped the first game, a very winnable game, and so there's a, almost a human nature to be a little bit gun shy, to hang around the net, to make sure you can stop the bleeding, but once they found the, the hole in the FSU defense, of course, you saw the pace quickened, you saw a lot more space happening between the corners and the flanks, and so I think they have their game plans right now. If you're Fresno State, I'm not sure what your rotation is, I am not sure what your scoring uh, options are going to be, but you have to rotate on defense because being one step behind, we've seen too many mid-pitch mid whiffs, and that was the difference in game two. This game three is absolutely pivotal, Leachy, and I can't even call it. Oh, boy. Game number three. Fish, Hyania, and Manny sticking with their roster. Another change from Northern Kentucky. Pig and Rickles remain, but Rule, the top shooter... I want to know who made this decision. Rule, the top shooter, I guess is being rotated out. And JF, I believe that's JF Machine, and according to our our, uh, our little document here, JF Monkey, <laughs> going for that username, is going to occupy that third spot. Hopefully that works out for Northern Kentucky. Clearly it's working out now because they have a one goal lead. Yeah, it is a bit of a strategy uh, at the team level to have a rotation option if your conference allows it to really put your opponent on the back heel. It's usually working there too. And then we saw Rickles being more of the scoring option there. That's fine. I'm all about that. We're still early in the season. The question I have and the question that remains is how is Fresno State Blue going to react to this? Manny missing this one. Fish, that one's up high. I need a great clearance. Giving FSU a little bit of time to collect themselves, but wow, Rickles not wasting any time sending the ball right back into FSU's face. Pick up high. Looking for that touch. A great beat on Hyania. No, I'm sorry. That was on Manny, in fact. Hyania is now off the backboard, getting a, yet another clearance. Manny, a slow rise up to that ball. This one is not quite off the ceiling. Great stop there by Fish, positioning in midair. Pig still, no, doesn't have a flip to work with. I thought was going to use at that last second, but opted for a different option there. Rickles, a relatively tame shot. 90 seconds gone. Monkey trying to put this one on. Pig is up. Crossbar down. 2-0 to Northern Kentucky. So this right here was a result of Fresno State going to more of a man-to-man -man defense. And when that happens, though, you don't cover as enough ground, which is why usually teams go for a zone. And leaving the far side, that goal open for a bit of a crossbar assist, though. But that any way you slice it, Northern Kentucky is up 2-0. Fish, a great pass over to Hyania. Oh, Fish, no! It's just down off that bottom side of the left post. So close to bringing it back. Excuse me, bringing it back within one. The good thing for FSU Blue is that there are still three minutes left in this match, so plenty of time to make something happen. They just, ugh, it, it's chances like that that need to be capitalized upon, and uh, they will most certainly want that opportunity back. We're past that three minute mark now, and uh, FSU is starting to feel a hurt that they're not used to feeling, at least as far as the as far as this series goes. 
Yeah, it's not so much doom and gloom quite yet, uh, even though it's close to it. But I do think that the FSU needs to do a little bit more space in their defense, really spread out, trust their their uh, partners here, the teammates here. And if you're in Northern Kentucky, you're doing okay. You're doing all right for yourself. The scoreline is saying that, but a lot of your shots have been suffered from wayward accuracy. Take some extra time with your shots. You have the confidence. You have the extra time, and you have the scoreline. Be patient. You can add to your tally. Hey, that was a great commanding stop there in the midfield monkey coming in oh shot water falling down rickles is up fast no one can beat him and the score line extends to three do i give the assist medal to the ceiling there right down and <laughs> top rickles with a tap in easy peasy fresh and squeezy 100 percent goal participation for Northern Kentucky University. I'm glad you mentioned assist because I was like, hmm, I haven't checked the <laughs> scoreboard in a while. Let me bring that up real quick. One for Rickles and two for Monkey. Low point count, but that doesn't matter. Oh, because the goal counts high. It could have been even higher, but not capitalizing on that one. FSU trying to make this one happen. Hyania, you're never going to win a 50 like that. Having to retreat back. Manny's up. Over to Fish. Great pass, Manny. Yet again, the one, Ooh. two. Stop short fish. fish will oh, not oh. miss this one. Taking advantage to bring it back within two. Still a bit of an uphill battle, but uh, it's made that much easier. That tech shot, fish to many to fish. This is where you try to make goals happen out of thin air. Fish, is its own playmaker, getting one on the board, is just going to will this team, carry on his back, and see if he can tie things up. Good play, excellent showing. Hyenia, oh, the change up. Man, he hit it. He will hit it. Pinches it off of the bar. Oh, Novanta's getting tired of me throwing to him. But hey, another goal was scored. So I guess Manny heard me saying that it was going to be all fish. And Manny's like, I'm getting in the dark too. That's how team, that's how wooden is done, right? That's how champions move. And Fresno State has pulled within one. Now, can they maintain their pace? Because I can tell you right now, Northern Kentucky's reeling, man. If we go to a third overtime in a row, somebody owes me money. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> somebody. I don't know who, but I will give you my Venmo in chat, and just somebody needs to somebody needs to send me money. We'll, we'll find out. We've got a minute, 17 seconds left. Manny? No, can't make this one. Fish. Oh, dangerous position for FSU. Desperately out of position. Monkey's not going to miss one. Re-extends the lead back out to two. 4-2 with a minute, nine seconds left. So being up two goals doesn't mean the game is following in the bag, but it definitely stops the bleeding for Northern Kentucky. Hopefully this opportunity gives them a chance to settle down and make Fresno play their game once again. 69 seconds. Starts counting down at this point. Rickles, a tricky touch into the corner. Somehow, oh, maintains possession. Hyania, I thought it was going to turn into a save, but looked like they were going for some kind of an awkward doink there while driving the same direction as the ball regardless didn't quite work out 50 seconds now Hyania into the corner looking for the clearance not super powerful but Manny is up and does beat pig to the ball fish off this corner wall but monkey is there great one pig oh missing this one Manny doesn't clearance off his own back wall monkey kind of waiting here Oh, will not get beaten by Hyania. That was a decent idea with the pop, but opponent had just enough time to see what the move was going to be. A great beat. Rickles, oh, styling on him at this point. This game is over. Give it to Northern Kentucky. Look at that beat from Monkey doing all the work there, and Rickles just hitting this one from style points. If you're going to give Leachy money, stop, because he said that was a bad individual <laughs> effort, but that was great by me. This one's done and dusted. 5-2 and two over the Kentucky, and they may be heading to series point. I didn't say that was bad. It was a fantastic individual. Somebody yeah. roll the tape back. <laughs> I refuse. I'll be in my trailer. I'm, I'm not working under these conditions anymore. <laughs> Set up high. Pig off the ceiling, dropping it down. Rickles not quite satisfied to let this one touch, but doesn't change the fact that this one is done and dusted. And what a comeback performance here in, in the context of this entire series. Northern Kentucky are looking super healthy all of a sudden. And uh, I, I will say our producer thought that this was kind of how this game was going to shake out. So I guess I have to hold my hands up and, and give it to him because he, he nailed the prediction thus far. We still have at least one more game to play, but... I guess, I guess thumbs up 
I guess I, I don't want to pat you on the back too hard. Your, your spine is like really, really fragile. So, but yeah, let's talk about some Rocket League. Dude, look at Pig. Three saves, four shots, two goals. Had a, another like rule-ish solo performance uh, for Northern Kentucky. I'm loving it. Yeah, it was one of those situations where the difference between good teams and great teams, I always say this when I work with the leeches, being able to adapt to your opponent. That first game, it was I said it was down the middle, it was anyone's game, but we've seen Northern Kentucky pull away. Uh, you, you can give that credit to an increase of their speed, you can give that a credit to their team tactics, you can give that a credit to their, their, their free rotation of rosters, but they have done the hard work. They're at series point now. Can they close the door on Fresno State? And if you're Fresno State, you're already one game one, and you drop the two games after that, but you do have a way, a path to victory. It's not over quite yet. I just need you guys to focus, and this could be forced to game five if you concentrate. I got to say, and, and this is a trope that, I, that I've that i stuck with for a very long time when it I comes love to tropes. my casting career. Oh, then you're going to love this one. <laughs> um, game four. In my opinion, game four is where the donuts are made. Um, you really see what these players are made of. And let me give you my reasoning on that. Okay. Because one team is a single game away from putting the series to bed and going home early, right? No need to take it to game five. Just beat your opponent one more time and you're done. The other team is one more game away from taking it to game five and all of a sudden dashing the hopes and the momentum of the opponents who are on that two game uh, streak and completely unbalancing their momentum. So it that I thus is my reasoning for why game four is such a crucial uh, potential tipping point for the series. Manny is, I'm sure, gonna, no, he's not going to get the scoring started. I thought that was a guarantee, but probably had too much pace going in one direction or the other, but can't make that one count, and that was a perfect opportunity to go ahead super early and get that, uh, that momentum swing started early. Can't find the contact on this one either. FSU hurting early on. The good thing is it's only 30 seconds into this game four, so... Uh, Wipe that one. Wipe that one from your memories. Uh, still zero zero. Absolutely. That way. There's no guarantees in Rocket League. If that was the case, I'd be a grand champ already. But I understand Manny wants to make sure he's over Ooh. the scoring line, but it was a little bit too quick. And that was why the shot went wide. But like you said, there's so much time for FSU. They need to, to slow down and play the game they played in game one. And they can open up the scoring and be the first ones to score. Dropping it down. Monkey won't miss that one. Beautifully passed off of that backboard. No defenders there to deal with it. And NKU, yet again, go one goal up in the series. So my uh, words failed me there. Drawing two defenders up in the sky. Left one person at the bottom of the table on Thanksgiving Day. Meet and drink. one nothing, North Kentucky. Coming down. Oh, fish. Too shallow of an angle across the face of the goal. We'll put that one on target. Hyenia waiting in the corner. Gets a strong clearance here. Manny. Over to Fish now. Monkey. Decent save. Gradester. I should say. Mispronunciation on my part. Apologies. It is Gradester. Gradester 13. Welcome to the show. Coming in. Oh, Monkey. Rob's Gradester of an opportunity to take that shot may have given Northern Kentucky their second goal of this game. Again, another situation, this time on the other side of the ball. Northern Kentucky, you have the goal advantage. You know, again, wipe it from your memory. Just re reset. Not a big deal. Still plenty of time to uh, to further the lead. It just it, it would have been between you and me. Would have been really good to nail that one. <laughs> Yeah, you mentioned at the beginning of this game, uh, when you have a best of five, usually the, the fourth game tends to be the oh. most aggressive uh, with more teams making more risks because one team doesn't want to go home early and the other wants to force the game five. You're seeing that right now. So I expect demos. I expect bumps. I expect a lot more shots and a lot more attempts at shots that we see sometimes in the mid-pitch looking like Cirque du Soleil out there sometimes. Great, Stir. What a shot and an equally great save from Fish. I couldn't quite honestly, the camera had his car blocking the ball, so I didn't know if the save was coming out. What a flick, Raidster will get this one three seconds before halftime, making it 2 nothing. 
A little bit of shimmy shimmy, a little bit of Coco pop over the head of his defender. <laughs> Bottom 90. That's it all day. 2 0 Northern Kentucky. Oh my god. I never want to work with anybody else. <laughs> You're amazing. Manny and Monkey facing off. Off this corner wall. Fish coming in. Oh, rocket of a shot, but relatively simple save for Rule to make. Just needed to make sure he uh, calculated the speed of that ball properly, which he did, of course. Hyena, zero boost will just drift back down to earth. The fall of shame, I like to call it. <laughs> Manny, off the backboard. Hyena coming in. Off the backboard a second time. Fish, not the most confident of touches, but it does go over. No, Manny can't find the shot. We'll say Manny did switch away from the Merc to an Octane now. I wonder if that was... Uh, Maybe a confidence boost change, or maybe he just wasn't feeling as good in the Merc as he looked. We're talking about the Merc, but Gradester is busy scoring a third. Forget scoring. Look at the angle that he had to attack the ball there to hit it backwards. That right there was Aces. Clip that out and show your mama. Good job, homie. It's like they're on an esports team for a college or something. Like they know what they're doing. I know. Is right? that what we're doing here? Like, is that what we're commentating about? <laughs> Somebody stop me. Great stir. Oh, risky catch, but opts to, uh, to believe in his ability for the 50 against Fish, and it did wind up working out. Technically, he did lose it, but it was off of the backboard, so I guess I guess no harm, no foul, but I don't know if you want to be making those risks too, too, uh, too many more times. Rule is just going to get this one for free, and Novanta, I'm starting to feel like this series is beyond a doubt for Northern Kentucky. Uh, this one here was a shot, and Rule tried to be his own insurance, but it wasn't necessary. 4 0 with less than 90 seconds to go. Possibly insert dagger and twist. This one might be over. Monkey out towards Rule, who would have time to get the boost wide open. Oh no! Foiled by the post. I will say had an oncoming defender from the opposite side of the goal, so needed to get it in as quickly as humanly possible. Just unfortunately, the woodwork had other plans for that ball. Be that as it may, it's still a four-goal lead, so I guess not a big deal, maybe, a, as we hit it, the 60-second mark. It's a four-goal game, and this one looks to be all beyond doubt, but you can't knock Fresno State. They are playing their hearts on the last minute. You'll see a lot of times teams kind of give up. I don't want to say body language because they're automobiles. But you know what I'm saying? But when it comes chassis to Fresno language. State... Yeah, chassis language. Yeah, chassis <laughs> language. But, but Fresno State is really working their tactics out that shows that this only time and chemistry is going to be a difference of them to be a threat in this division. That is that is a good point, too. And I feel like not a lot of people touch on that often enough is the, is the fact that FSU are still playing as fast as they have played all series long. It's just for whatever reason, Northern Kentucky have that extra little bit of sharpness in them to make these shots count. FSU are doing a fantastic job. Oh, the pass across Hyenea. Kind of a hybrid pass shot situation. Manny, great shot. But Monkey refuses to get them or to allow them to get a goal on the board. This series is done and dusted. Rule will go for number five. He didn't need to do it, but he did it anyway. Stamping their mark on this series. Northern Kentucky take this in game number four. Yeah, insult, injury, and salt. A zero second goal to say emphatically, we won this one. GG's everyone involved, especially the Kentucky. They were a little slow to start, but they made up for it in spades. They win this one. Such even, terrifyingly even contra. Well, okay. Ugh, I say that, but I'm looking at the scoreboard now. 350 points for Gradester, 380 for Monkey. And then Rule, yet again, one point off of a nice even 100 marker. He's got 699, two goals, two assists, two saves, three shots. An exhausting player to come up against. And FSU did everything they possibly could. Mm -hmm. It clearly, I mean, Northern Kentucky were just firing on all cylinders. And they did, I mean, I, I say like, you know, ugh, I'm losing my words here because I FSU throughout the entire series, played really well. Like, I don't think I really have a, a genuinely negative thing to say about that team. It's just NKU were, were that much better.
Yeah, you know, when you're Fresno State and you get a chance to really eye up your lineup, uh, there was a, the, the free substitution. So, like, you didn't really know the kind of play style that Jay was doing or know the play style Gracer was doing. And by that time, it was too late. Not saying it's necessarily an advantage because you have to account for everything when you become an athlete in this sport of Rocket League. But it takes a little while to, where you, to understand your opponents and his or her instincts. And being just a little bit slow on the aerials, a little bit slow on the rotations on defense, it was all the space North Kentucky needed to to make sure they walked away with a win tonight. And walk away with a win they did in emphatic, emphatic fashion. And now they go, I believe that's three and four um, on on the season in terms of games won because they did lose to Alabama 0-3. Oh, mm-hmm. um, but it was absolutely fantastic. So uh, well done. Um, unfortunately, FSU's... Um, record is tarnished a little bit further. They now go, what was that? One in six, uh, which isn't a great look, but this is why it's so important not to, su- not to pay attention entirely to the numbers um, yeah. because this was, this was a Fresno state buster that was giving it everything they possibly had. And I genuinely, I, I, re- I, I'm sounding like a broken record, but I really don't have anything negative to say about them. They did really well. They were playing super fast that maybe if like, if there was one thing to improve upon, it was the shooting accuracy because there were chances here and there that just went slightly wide, or maybe somebody yeah. was a little bit slow to the ball. So they couldn't maintain the offensive pressure that they would have liked. But I, I'm I'm hesitant to tell Fresno to change very much because I think Northern Kentucky is just a, a really freaking good team and Fresno did as good of a job as possible uh, keeping them out. I was calling me crazy, but if this is a stock market, I'll definitely buy stock in the Fresno State. Yeah, their, their, their win-loss record isn't the greatest, but now... I think they're going to have a chip on their shoulder. I think they're going to be written off. This might be the one team that once they show up their aggression as well, in addition to their shooting accuracy, could be absolutely lethal in the division. Ladies and gentlemen, we are graced by the presence of Rule from Northern Kentucky University. Rule, how's it going, my friend? Uh, Hopefully you're feeling super high off of that win because what a performance. Oh, dude, it's uh, I definitely definitely as you called it a high right now for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to say, um, I'm, I'm interested in the decision um, to rotate you out of the squad after you had such a ridiculous performance. And I can't remember if it was game two or game three. Uh, it was ga- it was game two. Such yeah. a ridiculous performance to bring it back to one one on the scoreline. And then you were rotated out. A, I want to know was that was that a coach's decision or was that on the players on you guys that wanted to make that change? And B, did you make it because you were confident that you had it with any players in general, or was there was there a, a maybe a different reason for for making that rotation in the roster? Yeah, okay. Uh, so going into this, we kind of had a predefined lineup for each individual game that we we're going to play. So games one through five, we had a set lineup for each of those. Uh, we would sub out whoever um, after those individual games. It just happened to be after game two. I would sit for game three. Um, it wasn't really a coach's decision. We just try to get everybody equal playing time as much as possible. Okay. Um, and as terms of like confidence wise, I mean, we all have we're working on chemistry right now, but we're definitely getting better. And I think tonight's a really good showing of what we're capable of, especially as a team. You could say um. that again. <laughs> <laughs> that that's interesting to hear because I'm I'm I I I'm interested that you guys have like a, this this like stonewall game plan that that isn't necessarily influenced by what you're seeing on the field from your opponents. I I in a way I admire the fact that you guys are are so ready to to stick to that game plan no matter what happens on the field because clearly your entire roster is good enough to 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 slip a series in your pocket and just walk away with it. So so well done on that. <laughs> Thank you. When it comes to the play styles today, I mean, Fresno State's a very formidable team. Uh, they even actually won the first game. Was there any kind of like thought about changing tactics or was just kind of playing the the games and the modes you did in training? There was any kind of adjustment there on the fly or walk me through that. Um, so there's no like real adjustment. Game one, game one was kind of hard for us because we were playing on West and we haven't played on a West server in months as a team, just because there's no real reason for us to. Um, 
And then the other issue, um, I mean, we didn't really have like anything too big. Um, we we're just kind of adjusting. Um, Pig was having a little bit of frame drop issue, but it wasn't anything too drastic. Um, so I think our big thing just from game one was just we had to focus more on 50s, especially on the West server, because it was less, less reliable for us just because of the ping variation. Mm, that's a good point. I didn't, I, I never considered a team in, in t- not, not shift entirely shifting a focus to fifties, but like definitely putting more importance on it purely for a connection speed reason. So I'm, I'm interested to hear that, that that was definitely a call. And that, that was something I was about to ask you was, was uh, the result in game one. Yes, you did manage to bring it to overtime and then FSU Blue managed to, to pull it off after a minute and five seconds. Um, was was that the only thing that you were worried about in that first game was just kind of getting into things and, and getting used to the the connection inconsistencies? Um, or or was, there, was there something deeper kind of running through your mind? Uh, no, I'd, I'd say that's the only thing that is mm-hmm. our like, most worrying thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, outside of that, I mean, we were kind of sitting around uh, for, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. So we kind of got a little cold. We uh, we were trying to sit in free play and do some other stuff, but um, kind of we had a longer gap than what we originally intended for. But going into game two, we felt confident and we brought it back. You you sure did. You sure did bring it back, uh, Novanta. Unless you've got anything else for our friend Rule here, I would say good game. It was, a, it was an emphatic showing. It was great. I hope there's more to come for North Kentucky. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us, Rule. Uh, enjoy the victory. Go celebrate with your team, and uh, hopefully we'll we'll see you back here next week. Absolutely. Take it easy, guys. Later. All right, Novanta, we come to the end of our show. Ooh. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in as long as you have, putting up with my nonsense and Novanta's fantastic use of his brain. It's way bigger <laughs> than mine, so I'm a big fan of. Uh, Novanta... <laughs> Before we wrap tonight up, we've got some sponsors to thank, and uh, I think I'm going to start off first. Ladies and gentlemen, Meta Pro Gaming. They're a full-service esport management, developmental, and consulting company. Meta provides esports coaching, college esports management, arena design, and equipment. Please visit them at metaprogaming.gg to learn more. Thank you so much to Meta Pro Gaming. Also, we give a big thanks to Respawn. Respawn products are forged for all day comfort for content creators, professional and casual players or anyone looking to upgrade their setup. Respawn has been battle tested and achieves a level of comfort that leaves competitors in the dust. Live to play another day with Respawn, your battle ready partner. Get this man a voiceover contract. I just want any any ad I want to be. Okay, I'm gonna, I, I'm not going to try to outdo you. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, HyperX right here. You see him on my head. The HyperX mission has been to develop gaming products for all types of gamers. High-speed memory, solid-state drives, headsets, keyboards, mice, charging accessories for console players, USB flash drives, and mouse pads. That was anticlimactic. I only had two more things to read. To the gaming community. <laughs> And beyond, HyperX Gear is the choice of celebrity ambassadors, pro gamers, tech enthusiasts, and overclockers worldwide because it meets the most stringent product specifications and is built with best-in-class components. I can speak for that myself because these are some of the most comfortable headphones I have ever had on my big fat head. So thank you very much to HyperX for, uh, for sponsoring the NECC. I'm Jelly. Also, a bigger shout out to Helix <laughs> Esports. Helix Esports offers world class gaming and virtual reality experiences at state of the art esports centers throughout the United States. Helix Esports delivers a professional esports experience to everyone. Whether gamers choose to play, practice, socialize with friends, or compete at the highest level, Helix Esports is the premier destination for gamers. Follow Helix Esports today at Helix Esports USA on social. Thank you, Helix Esports. And last but certainly not least, ladies and gentlemen, ESTV. ESTV is the first ever dedicated channel for esports and gaming personalities. The first channel devoted to 24-7 esports coverage can be found on a number of OTT platforms, including the Roku channel, Amazon Fire TV, Samsung TV Plus, Sling TV, and Vizio Free Watch. ESTV partners 
with the world's top gaming networks, that's us, and production partners for the most robo- robust esports content lineup on linear, online, and mobile. For more information, please visit www.estv.co. Novanta, we made it through. Thank you very much for joining me tonight. It's always a blast getting to cast alongside you because I can never outdo your wordplay <laughs> and just your general level intelligence. So thank you very much for bringing the entire show upwards. Thanks for inviting me. It's always a pleasure to hang with you too, Leechy. <laughs> awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Novanta, I have been Leechy. You throughout this entire evening have been watching the NECC right here on twitch.tv slash NECC underscore esports. Come right back to this channel next week at the same time for more NECC Rocket League action. You don't want to miss it. Be there, be square.